Hi everybody and welcome to another video here on this channel um, where I'm going to open this blaster box today. We have uh, Panini Diamond Kings. We have 35 cards in this box. Uh, that's seven packs per card, five cards per pack, seven packs per box. Sorry. Um, there is one blaster exclusive blue frame parallel in this um, if I'm being honest with you, this isn't the best product, but we are looking for a small chance to uh, get an autograph. If you guys want to pause and look through this, a lot of inserts and master artist proof masterpieces and numbers. So if we can get any uh, any uh, numbered cards or any relics or autographs, those are definitely going to make the Mount Rushmore of these. I'm going to go through. I'm going to put aside some maybes in the uh, maybe pile, and then and then at the end we're going to put a Mount Rushmore of this box uh, at at the end of the video. Um, you know what? I'm not an expert. I've been doing this very short amount of time. I'm going to go through some boxes, and you're going to sit there and you're going to scream at me for missing what a good card is. And uh, sometimes I'll miss a short print. Honestly, almost every time I I will miss a short print. But that's a to you guys here that's you i'm pointing right at you see that's up to you uh you you get you get to teach me i don't know what i'm gonna do with these cards but we are just gonna do our best so let's get to opening it's gonna be a quick little video um we do want uh like i said we're looking for a relic we're looking for an autograph i'm also a cubs fan so i i really do collect any any cubs cards that 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 come my way so um any maybes are going to be on the left all the cubs are going to be on the right uh and we're going to get a nice mount rushmore uh hashtag who do you collect um I've, I've never seen that once on any social media and i am i am on social media quite a bit we have this insanely cool sticker that has that is the um that is the security like i said seven packs five cards per pack uh, we're gonna get to opening. We're gonna get a Mount Rushmore, and if I if, and like I said, if I miss any cards that are the number one card of the of the deck of the pile of the pack of the of the world right now, um, please forgive me. Uh, the goal of these videos, I'm being completely honest, is to um, really just get ten fans. Once I get my ten fan, um, I'm gonna retire. You know retire from my from my day job uh we'll start off with with goose gosselin jose altuve who is not looking too hot and i really do hope from the bottom of my heart that he struggles the rest of his career because he cheated uh and and you know what the rest of his career is kind of harsh he's batting 100 right now i love it i love seeing it i don't like cheaters uh lewis thorpe and i'm not gonna lie to you guys any any rookie is gonna go in the maybe pile because who knows how rough this is really gonna be. A Vladimir Guerrero Gallery of Stars um, to finish off that first pack. So while we're here, I am gonna give you guys a trivia question every episode. Um, I'm, I'm gonna get better. I don't know how to do graphics, but you know what? The internet is, is, is definitely gonna help me out there. So the question here is, what product was the presenting sponsor for the very first MLB Comeback Player of the Year in 2005. Um, I'm going to put that right under that, that bad boy right there. So you guys can still see it a little bit. Eventually, I'm going to have a little graphic, bam, right there, uh, which is not going to be um, in this video. So I hand wrote it because who doesn't like a handwritten um, little, uh, little question there? We have Cal Ripken, uh, Andres Munoz, like I said, Mauricio Dubon. Oh, wow, look at all these rookies. A Ken Griffey Jr. Um, I, I do think these are, uh, these are goofy looking. Um, but the kid is the man. It is, you know what? Has anybody have ever read these? It's easy to picture Griffey dominating an earlier era. Dude, I don't care, man. Who cares, Diamond Kings? Uh, let's get this over here. Still no Cubs, still no Relics, still no big names. No Jordan Alvarez's, Gavin Lux. Uh, I, I mean, I even like Brandon McKay because... The dual threats are always really impressive to me. Nick Solak, like I said, rookie in there. Donnie Walden. These are some poopy rookies. Um, we do have a artist proof Tony Gwynn. If you guys can see that artist proof Tony Gwynn uh, right there on the back. So he's gonna go in the maybe pile, 
and we have Ken Griffey Jr. Artist Pal. These are cool looking cards. I don't think they're worth a single thing though. Um, so moving on, we have an okay rookie pile, but the rookies themselves are not okay. So um, yeah, so this this box is uh, 20 bucks. Um, and if you guys had, have better luck than me, then I'm, I'm very happy for you. Hannes Wagner, Kyle Lewis, that's a good one. He's definitely going to, in the uh, maybe pile. Mike Trout, all-time Diamond Kings. I do uh, love, obviously, Mike Trout. He's going in, in every single maybe pile I will ever have. Um, we have a Christian Yelich in the zone. Um, so since I am a big Cubs fan, I do live in Milwaukee, though, and I genuinely hate this man from the bottom of my heart. He's a great player. He gave Milwaukee a great contract. Uh, he's going to be here forever, and he haunts my dreams. I loved him in, in, in Miami. He seems like a cool dude. Literally, not one thing about him is hateable, except for that he kills the Cubs. He loves his mom. He does commercials with his mom. He's just annoying, man. All right, next pack. Kyle Seeger, Mike Piazza. Nap. We got a good old nap. Here is our border card, Brian Anderson. Big Brian Anderson. He's going to go in the maybe pile and a Reese Hoskins aficionado card. Only two left. Uh, these are probably going to be pretty short videos for a little bit. I can't buy any any big ones. I am going to try and look a little bit for a for, for some Topps Chrome, which is which is coming out, but um, probably not. I'll probably do some some Diamond Kings, some Top Series 2, stuff like that. Maybe even go back to the old Junk Wax 90, 90s cards and and just, uh, you know what, dig for some for some rookies, but just uh, a lot cheaper. Tony Gwynn, uh, Logan Webb is a rookie, but he's poop. Um, Edwin Rios, another rookie artist proof. So he is going to go in the movie pile. And this is disturbing, but George Brett, that it's, uh, huh, maybe I'm the only one, but that just doesn't, it's just... I can't tell if he's dreamy or if he's horrifying, but <laughs> either way, get out of here. All right, George Brett. Um, and our last and final, and I'm, I'm trying to think of other words that mean last because I already said two. Our last pack, we've got the big bad Jake Fraley. Wow, Aid, these are just Jalen Davis. That's another rookie. A Ted Williams artist proof card. And Al Kaline, the 3,000. Um, you know what, guys? This is not the best. Uh, but, of course, we had fun doing it. Uh, still, we have the uh, a trivia question. What product was the presenting sponsor for the very first MLB Comeback Player of the Year in 2005? It's it's definitely something. I'm going to put this down because I, I have the fan going. Wow, look at this thick stack of maybes and not a single card stands out obviously brian anderson obviously kyle lewis uh yeah that's from spongebob okay um mike trout and uh it's tony gwynn because i do love tony gwynn tony gwynn stats are probably going to make their way into these videos because those stats just never ever seem real um hmm wow this is this stinks. P U, P U P U. We are gonna go to finish out the Mount Rushmore. <sighs> we'll probably go Tony Gwynn. If you're sitting, if you're sitting there screaming at your screen, like I assume you're going to, and you see a card in one of these stacks that's worth way more than I am assuming, let me know. Uh, but I'm gonna do a little research after. Um, and that is it. These are the, these are the cards for the Mount Rushmore: Brian Anderson, Border, Kyle Lewis, Rookie, Mike Trout, Diamond King, and Tony Gwynn. Uh, these are brutal, man. These are brutal. So I'm gonna put these here for everybody, and then for the final time, the final ask: What product was the presenting sponsor for the very first MLB Come a Player of the Year in 2005? It's Viagra, folks. Um, Basically, what I read was that Viagra wanted to do an award where the where the uh, player, quote-unquote, uh, keeps popping up on, on the baseball field. So 
Viagra is your answer. These cards are, are on the Mount Rushmore of the Diamond Kings box. Uh, one more time. Brian Anderson, Mike Trout, Kyle Lewis, Tony Gwynn. Going to sleeve up that Kyle Lewis. He's a stud. Um, other than that, we're going to move on. If, if you saw cards in here, give me a comment. Uh, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to hope to make more videos. I think I'm going to open some, some junk wax stuff because it's crazy cheap and I'm crazy poor. So we're going to do that. Ho hopefully find some, some fun rookies. And thank you so much for watching, everybody. Uh, I do hope you have a great day. Uh, go Cubs. Uh, thank you for watching and we will see you next time.